Hey folks, Dodgy Bruce here, Beard. Welcome to uh, Dodgy's Garage, um, the most unscripted channel on YouTube. <laughs> That's my crud I'm going for. Um, if you like this, what I've got and the things I do, subscribe if you could, uh, and like and whatever else. Um, I have everything, like Euros, American, British, everything. Just so subscribe, something will come up anyway. Um, today, uh, I've got a, a guy wanting to buy, finally, one of my cars. Yes, I am selling some. So uh, we're in the process of trying to get it actually rolling and uh, out of here so we can do it. So what I have, you've probably seen in the background of a few uh, other videos, it's a 1969 DE Dodge Phoenix. In America, it would be a Plymouth Fury 3. It's the pillared, you've got two versions, you've got the pillared ones with the um, B pillar. Here and the non ones, uh, non pillared, the hard tops. Now these pillared ones had the small block 318. The big ones, or the pillared, pillarless ones had the 383 big block. Uh, now as you can see, this thing I've had this for like years, absolute years. And the first thing I did is put it up on jack stands so it doesn't rust. It has rusted a lot more, but it's better than sitting in the weeds. The only problem with this one was there is no rear window, which can lead to a lot of rust problems in there. But he's just gone through and had a look and he likes what he sees. So he's figured that can be repaired. So the floor's rusty, but you know, there are some rust holes, but that's fairly easy. It's this rear plenum that's the problem, but it is repairable. Now we just spent, I don't know, 45 minutes or so cleaning all the, the stuff inside the car out um, so he can figure it out obviously this boot lid's gone as well um, but I say you know most of the car is fairly good structurally it just needs a good clean just clean it's just, just that rear section up the window there it's going to be done and I haven't got a rear window and you can't get one so um, we're looking at getting another car to actually get the rear window out because the other car's a junker. So get this thing on the road. Um, I've got some spare bonnets for him. So this is his project that he wants to um, put together. He's a Mopar guy. He's got a few other Dodges and Plymouths and whatnot. So we're going to put an axle out of my wreck. There's a uh, my old black wreck. Um, over the back there we've got to pull the diff out of it so we can just jerry-rig it underneath there so then I can drop this down put some wheels on it and then it's a roller so we can then get rid of it so that's what we're doing today uh, probably make this a two-part video because this is going to take a while and unlike the last video which ran for 40 minutes or so I don't really want to do that I just want to do shorter vids so just to keep you guys occupied and something to see and for me to get uh, something to do we'll see how this goes but we're going to and the 69 you can tell had that tin one whereas my 70 which is my old pride and joy the 70 has the shark the shark grill look to it and that's my 70 phoenix so and it absolutely pissed down rain this morning early on and while we're trying to clean out the car it rained as you can see it's just yeah so and this is why I haven't been able to do much around here because it's just rain on and off on and off because we're on the west coast the rains just come in whenever they feel like it we don't get any warning it just dumps it well we do get warning but no one pays attention because the weather bureau never gets it right so um yeah so Let's get uh, let's get stuck into it. Here's the black beast that we're pulling apart. I think a lot of people would have seen this in some of my videos. Uh, also a '69, but a pillarless one. Now we've already started getting in and getting rid of the bonnet and anything that was lying around. So the bonnet's from trim. Um, we've got to pull this glass out. Hopefully it doesn't break because it's in good nick. Um, and then we've got to get into well, what we want is a diff. So. We've got to lift it up with the old engine crane. So we're taking the doors off to make it a little bit lighter. Everything is still unscrewing, which is good. Um, 
but we need that diff. Now I've taken most of the stuff out of the diff, but I never could get the last bolt which sits up against the chassis rail. But apparently you unbolt it from behind. From yeah, so from behind it, not the actual bolt. You don't take the actual um, bolt out like it'll be like a bolt like that because it sits up against the chassis rail. You actually take the whole bracket off. Apparently, oh, another one, beautiful. Um, so we're just going to do that, and then we just lift lift the arse end up, and that should just fall straight out because I said most of it's already undone. So it's just those two front eyelets, eyelet bolts, and she's done. So this thing's been sitting here for. Well, since I've moved in, I've had it for even longer, so it's about seven years. So it's uh, it's rusty. It's got a lot of parts on it that we could use. Like he needs that rear bumper and maybe those tail lights. Whether they'll actually come out or not is another thing. Um, but this thing is literally gone. There's absolutely nothing in that rear quarter. There's the end of the boot. So that rear valance is just gone. In fact, it's just... In fact, there's nothing really holding this car together because the, uh, the roof is pretty much knackered. It's just split. It's just rusted away. Um, and the floor is, not, is also missing. <laughs> this thing's about to snap in half, so yeah. Just a little bit of help and we can get this thing stripped down to its bare undies. And then I can piss off the shell and get some room back. And he can take what he needs to get the white one going. And it's pissing down rain again. But we've got these do doors off this side and the front windscreen out. He's just taking the other doors off the other side. But it is absolutely bucketing down now. So this is what we have to contend with. This is why I can't do any painting or anything at the moment because the weather is absolute crap and I don't have a shed that I can put the car. I do, but I don't. Something's in the way, so we'll see. All right, three hours later, we got the diff out. Now, if anyone's ever doing a bloody dodge or whatever, you can do the rear eyelets. Don't do the front eyelets. Do the whole box to the chassis. Um, you've got four bolts. They're, I think they're 916. Um, these end up having, we have to cut these ones because they just would not come out. But you can't get this bolt out because it's up against the chassis. So that's a pain in the ass because you can't get the bolt. But if you take these whole saddle brackets out, no problem. Don't forget to undo all your brakes and that because that was... Halfway up in the air before we realised that centre section there was still bolted to the bloody body. So, but the diff's out finally. This thing is absolutely mangled, absolutely manky. So, that's all out now. So, yeah, and the doors are all off. We had a real problem with that that other door there. It would not this would not unlatch. So we ended up just reefing the door over because it was pretty munted and literally cutting around and just ripping that whole section out to get out because it would not unlock but now all four doors are off um, all the brake booster and pedals and handbrake assembly is out uh, I've got the windscreen out that almost fell out really this this stuff wasn't sticking sticking at all and with the big knife and uh, and that sitting in there she literally just just popped out because there's just nothing holding it so a bit of cutting and she came out so we got all that off um, some chrome pieces and whatever else and we had bashed the floor so we could actually get to those bolts there's the, the bolt holes that the, the saddles sit in from this side so the your, um, spring comes in from the there and then bolts in there on both sides uh, so we had to push the floor out that's why I say there's no floor in this it's literally just rotted away which made it easier because then we can get the bolts from up top. Just got an angle grinder and cut some of that out uh, on that. So that's um. Oh, I just bloody started, Dono. Put it in there. Um, so apart from getting the dash pad out, which I'd like to get the crash pad, um, everything else is kind of ready. We got so many parts off. This is what was sitting in the car. There's the brake booster and the pedal assembly. All this is either in the car or in the boot. So we've got a rusty boot lid. We've got all. The, sh the original shackles, all the doors, all the seats, armrest, bloody whatever was in the car that's kind of usable uh, is out. So, um, and we've got a heap of glass. Don't know what they're off of, but we hope they'll be right. 
So all the bits and pieces are in it are now out. So it is stripped finally. So what we've got to do now is get it over, get that diff out of here because I can't move the uh, the valve because it's missing the carby. So we've got to figure out, get the diff out of here and take it over to the white one. So and there. We've done a fair bit. Um, unfortunately, Johnny decided not to take the car after all that because he almost dropped it on his head. Um, just did, wouldn't take things slow, so just almost fucking li literally crushed his head and left the car when he put the wheels on and then tried to drop it. So, yeah, not good. But we have managed to strip the whole bloody car down. And the fenders are off, guards are off. Right out of support, which is rusty, but it's off. Um, so literally, the car is basically stripped. All I need to do is take that rear bumper off. He took the tail lights out and everything, so good on him for helping me pull all that apart. Um, it was actually easier than it looked. So all that's stripped. So I'm now left with a, a shell. I mean, as I said, there's still some chrome pieces and, and trim there that I can take off, but this is done. I'm not going to worry about the K-frame. The only thing is, when he did drop the other car almost on his head, it went straight down to the ground because someone had taken the torsion bars. Now, you see those big long poles? That's the torsion bars. And they bolt into the front there. Mine hasn't. The 60, uh, the, the pillars, uh, pillared sedan, the white one, doesn't have them. So, of course, when he dropped it down, it literally went straight up to the bloody front cross member on the ground. Jesus so I've got parts upon parts that all came out of this is now lying around that he was going to take with him but is now just stripped out and lying on the ground so if anyone needs uh, 69D Phoenix parts I'm in Perth give us a yell come and grab the bloody things now we'll go over and have a look he took the wheels off and put his wheels on so when he dropped it he went nah he took his wheels off and he hasn't put my walls back on. But literally, this front cross member was on the ground. Because, yeah, and you can see now it's twisted sideways because the whole car leaned this way when he dropped it. Um, so I've still got to put wheels on it. And on these Phoenixes, if no one said anything to you before, they have a left-hand thread and a right-hand thread bloody wheel nuts. It's a right pain in the bum. So... And so he's put all the parts back in there. So he's got 69 grills. Shut. So you can see where it was. It's moved over when he dropped it. So the car is now... Oh, and he's got one wheel, one nut. Great. And I just, so yeah, all these... Yeah. But the car now has an axle. So if anyone wants a project, obviously this is separated from the rust under here but it's not too bad across here it will need a rear window there is no rear windows available so if you want to put a Lexan window or I might be able to get another car that has a rear window that we could use if you really wanted to go at it another project car if someone wants it give me a yell come and buy it it's got two spare hoods actually no fuck it I'll keep one hood <laughs> because why not um, but there you go Another 69 pillared sedan, if anyone wants it. Um, but I have to put the torsion bars in there now. Now that the diff's in, I have to put the torsion bars in so it actually doesn't sit on its bloody guts. Uh, and then it's kind of like a rolling shell. Because there's no way we'd get it up on a trailer, especially at this late time. So I've kind of, um, well, he, he's had it, I've had it. We've been going at it all day and it's just... Uh, um, so no part two because we never got past this so this is it so if anyone wants parts or a project a running project give me a yell um, I just want it out just I've got enough part it, it, whoever comes with some cash gets it I mean other than that I mean there's you know your generic rust spots in the car it can be fixed it's just that rear window is the, the main issue but everything else is fixable as you can see it's a complete uh, it's a good car. It's a straight car, except for the dents. <laughs> but there you go. Anyway, that's enough. I've, I've had it. I'm going to go 
lie down or something because my back went out earlier on and that's the end of me so anyone needs parts or whatever this is yeah so give us a yell and we'll see how we go all right oh yeah and so Nigsy and Jono came in yay thanks Nigsy for coming up um and feeding us it's good chicken it's good chicken so all these parts if anyone wants oh, there's all the other bits oh, I've got to put all this away now but it's this thing is stripped. It's been five years. I've been waiting to strip this because I've got it as a spare for my black one. And I've been wanting to get all these parts off so I can get rid of it. Now it's stripped. I don't really want the K-frame, so I know I probably should, but nah. Um, done. I like I like it. This is good. We we did a lot today. We did a lot. I wanted to get that dash pad out, but I don't know how it, how it looks like too much of a problem. <sighs> And I found, oh, I don't know where it is now, found tins of uh, degreaser sitting underneath the, that mat that's been sitting underneath the house for the last four years. So that was interesting. So place is a mess now, but hey, we've got everything. All right, cheers, guys. Uh, let's like, subscribe. The Facebook page is there, Dodgy, Dodgy's Garage Facebook page. Um, uh, if you need anything, you can DM me through the Facebook page. It's probably easier than going through the... Um, uh, YouTube thing um, uh, go through the Facebook page um, uh, Yanni Yanni here's another project for you forget your effies take, take the dodge mate <laughs> there's a project for you Yanni um, so that's finally done so now I've just got to rip off some little bits and pieces and then try and get the sucker out of you because this room it's in is where the coaster bus is going to sit now so but anyway all right Ethan cheers Catch us next time. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Hooroo.